Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'm trying to answer a question that came in via email earlier today. So the question that came in via email was, Neil, I just saw your video about uh, quick steps and it seemed really interesting, um, but I was interested in using something along the lines of reply and delete, but customized very specifically. Can you help me out with it? And what they wanted to do was to be able to not only use reply and delete, which just so you guys can get a feel for this, it would allow me to reply to this email from Ravi and then instantly throw the email from Ravi into the deleted items folder. And the reason for that being a ton of emails you get day to day need a response for, from you, but don't really need to sit in your inbox for a long time. But what they wanted to be able to do was not only reply to an email and have it automatically delete, but also take their reply and not put it into sent items, but put it into a specific special folder. So let's say over here on the inbox, I right click, I go to new folder and I put in here archived responses, for example. Okay, so I want to be able to reply to Ravi's email, have that reply go into archived responses, not in the sent items, and then have the email to Ravi automatically go into deleted items or some other folder. I can't use reply and delete. I can though go to create new and I can take a look at this, right? So on the drop down menu, I have reply right down here. I have reply all, but I do not have reply and put a copy of that reply into a specific folder. So instead, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my rules drop down menu up here at the top of the screen, go to manage rules and alerts, and I'm going to set up a new rule. So the new rule button here in the corner, but a rule on messages I send, not on messages I receive. This is one of those that not a lot of people use, but it's something that can be really put to good use. Uh, so every time I send an email, check that email for something. And if you find it, then go ahead and whatever. So I'll go to apply rule on messages I send. I'll click on next. And I'll go in and I'll say, look at the subject line. And maybe the specific words in the subject will say something like um, angle bracket reply to uh, interest, right? Or maybe it would say something like um, asterisk, asterisk, or something along those lines. It could be just about anything, right? Find, find some kind of code that could be helpful either in the subject line or uh, if you want to, you can go over here to, where is it? Subject or body. So you could go to the body area and look for words there. But I'll go with uh, two asterisks being the thing in my subject line that's important to me. So I'll click next and I'll say, okay, if you see that, if you see that, then what I want you to do is move a copy to the specified folder, click on specified, and move it into the archived responses folder right here and click OK. So this is the key part right here, right? Um, the rule can automatically redirect a copy of the thing that you're sending to archived responses instead of your sent items uh, based off something. Could be anything, but here I'm going to go with uh, some sort of code. And then I'll hit finish and click OK and click OK. Okay, so now I can go to create new and I could say uh, reply, delete, save reply. <laughs> you know, you could probably come up with a better name than that. So I'll go in here, I'll hit reply. And then under show options right here at the subject, right after the subject, I'll put in two asterisks, just like that and click on add action and then automatically delete. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Automatically delete the message and click finish. Okay, so now this email from Ravi, I click reply, delete, save reply, which is an awful name for a quick step, but you get the point. I click on it. It instantly puts the two asterisks after the new SharePoint training um, that's in the subject line. I can hit send and you see the email to Ravi is no longer there. The email is now, the sent item is now sitting in my archived responses right here. And of course the deleted items, if I go look at the deleted items, 
this email from Ravi is in my deleted items. So wiring together two elements, a quick step and a rule could allow you to do much more sophisticated handling of not only incoming emails, but also of outgoing emails as well.